This afternoon I was sitting in a tea bar cafe. They wanted to look really chic and hipsterish almost, but it was really good chai. But anyway, I was sitting there and I'm working in this big black cheap sketchbook that I got that I'm using to try to figure out where I am and where I want to go and what information I need to get up and lots of writing and diary stuff, you know, and I say diary because for me a diary is where I write about things and a journal is where I draw and sketch and paint and also write about things. But anyway, I'm sitting in this cafe and I'm watching one of my daily YouTube YouTuber videos that I watch I, and I remember something that a friend said to me last week, and uh, actually a couple people have said this to me, and they were talking about the second video I ever uploaded to YouTube, which you can find right here, where I created this journal page. And I was looking at it, recently hit over 100,000 views. Just think about that for a minute. I mean, yes, I watch videos where people have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views and millions of subscribers, but for me, having a video with over 100,000 views is, well, it's kind of cool and it's kind of humbling at the same time, uh, and because I made that content five years ago. And I'm watching this video and I kind of am smiling because I'm, I'm looking at a, you know, five-year younger me who had big dreams and had just gotten out of college and decided to let go of her salary job with its health insurance and go work part-time at a shop. I was doing art and being exposed to all this art, all these artists and hearing names of people like Anahata Katkin and Tisha Moore and discovering, you know, doing more than just drawing in a journal but paint and watercolors and markers and it was just awesome and then it abruptly ended but that's another story and I'm watching this video and, and smiling at me like I said and I'm thinking what what I do now if I use the same materials. I have in here, there's this bird and I have this bird and the way I did the stencil in there is these are Heidi Swap stickers and what I actually did is I took the clear backing for the sticker and used it as a stencil and I have quite a bit. Um, so I have this and I have paper towels in the same color so I'm wondering what would this journal page look like if five years more experienced me created it. And this is kind of a experiment for myself, really. I, I'm just really curious to see the differences in how I approach materials and technique. And it does call into using a lot more gesso, which I'm really not familiar with using as much anymore, but I'm kind of interested to see what will happen and, and what journal page will result of this. Mm -hmm. 